Welcome everyone, how are you doing? I'm your host Malgaris and today we are continuing the Zerg campaign, Agent of the Swarm. Seraphins, be warned. While Dagoth is occupied with the forces of the Dominion, the emanations of the Christmas have called even more of our enemies to charge. These two shall be eradicated by your hand, Seraphit, for you grow more cunning with each passing battle. Indeed, you are a testament to my will and the fury of the Swarm. Yet first must you stay your wrath and watch over the Christmas a while longer, for the very hour of the Sleeper's rebirth is at hand. And soon my greatest creation shall be loosed. Yes, over minds. <sighs> oh, it's about to hatch in ten minutes. Alright. All crews stay frosty and keep your eyes peeled for our target. Remember, not only are we up against the Zerg here, but our old pal General Duke may be creeping around too. I hope this trip wasn't a big mistake. Alright, Jimmy. Back to the party. Zerg Queen. Parasite. Oh yeah, is that you said a build on the tank of mine? Let's return the favor. I'm just placing parasites everywhere. Oh, they're getting an attack on my island? Not on my watch. Maybe I can pick them apart before they can get anything on ground. Alright, we took a uh, good amount of casualties there, and by good I mean very bad. Yeah, they, they are coming for my butt, that's, that's very clear right now. Let's see what more we can do. That's a missile point. Best I avoid that. Let's build some static defense. Oh, please, don't do this. Can you lure him back to the Oh, are you serious? We need an evolution chamber. They're way too aggressive. Why did I engage that missile squad? This is very frustrating. The hive cluster is under attack. Yes, I know that. Hopefully I can save that Vespin geyser. We still got Zergings here. Gosh darn it. God, I'm stupid. Nice try. All forces are under attack. Alright, at least we can build Zergings. Second bonus right here, please. Thank you. 
Can I inflict a burst on him somewhere? Yeah, you should do. Yeah, those dropships are responsible for the drops that happen in my base, of course, so keeping tabs on those is essential. We got a decent economy flowing. And our base is well protected, I'd say. Let's build a second hatchery. Or we don't. Can I lure them? Please tell me I can lure them. Yes, I can. They're hitting my economy pretty hard. Yeah, just yeah, lure, lure them towards this. Towards the exit fences, towards the conclusion fences. We lost a lot of workers right there. That's not good. Yeah, James Rainer's forces are hitting us hard. They've got a lot of infrastructure, but you only destroyed this command center. Or infested, I guess. Celebrate. The chrysalis is opening. Do not allow any terrors near it. One of you has to drop something. Come on, don't be shy now. I knew, I knew you'd drop. Alright then, what's the present? I knew it. Father, I live to serve. Let all who oppose the Overmind feel the wrath of the Swarm. Well done, Cerebrit. What I have wrought this day shall be the undoing of my enemies. Let not a Terran survive. Mother of God. Kerrigan, what have they done to you? We received an extreme makeover, Jamie. Yeah, don't worry, y'all are too. Yes, Let's see you in action. Okay, not much action to be had, but that's okay. These screens seem very mobile, so I'm going to use them to scout out the area. I put some parasites on some people. Oh, there's something else. Can't have those now, can I? Oh, <laughs> don't get too close, Miss Queen. So, why should I infest a command center? Well, I'll answer that question in a moment. Because I will infest one. So, first of all, we're going to attack this bottom base because they keep sending waste from the bottom. Okay. What can you do for me? 50 damage claws. Yes, ma'am. I love to see that. Hydrolisk then? Yes, yes. We have a lot of gas and not a lot of minerals. Because we got all our drones slaughtered in the opening 10 minutes. Where are you, Kerrigan? Kerrigan. Oh, here you Hello, fire bats. Thank you for dying. Oh, really? Once again, she's lost the track. Maybe Kerrigan has a different opinion on your lives. Yes, Thank you, Kerrigan. So, uh, what do you think? Cool transformation, eh? Let's see the original graphics. I think in this one she looks, she looks like a lot more punk, a lot more intimidating than this one. Don't get me wrong, this one's pretty cool, this art. But the previous one does have a little bit of a nostalgic feeling for me. 
I used to play this game when I was very young, like six, seven, something like that. I first like was conscious of what I was doing, but I didn't understand the campaign at all. I just played it, and I didn't went much farther than the uh, I think the fourth or fifth mission. I don't know exactly. You're still bleeding? We need a lot more minerals for this mission, buddy. Oh yeah, it's true. Evolution chain is uh, essential for upgrades. I think the Zerg really encourages you to have multiple evolution chains because you get three different upgrades. You, an evolution chamber. You, two, an evolution chamber. Evolution complete. I think we got enough information. I am going once again Hydralisk with a Mutalisk escort to take out this bottom base and infest this command center. I want to see what it does. I mean, I know what it does, but you guys don't know yet. And I would love to demonstrate it. Let's put, put a parasite on you. Put a parasite on you too. Everybody gets a parasite. Oh. Are you ready for an attack, my friends? That's very nice of you, but we are prepared. Don't worry. Kerrigan, do your thing, please. Alright. E for a snap. And you're dead. I can also blow you. Alright. Yes, celebrate. What's a good landing zone over here? Actually here is pretty good if you take out this uh, little missile tower. You drop here. You take out their factory and their barracks so you don't have any more localized reinforcements. And from there... We can take the... Enemy personnel that are still here. Queen's Nest. Listen, I'm not very sure, but I think that makes these flying queen things. We'll see, we'll see. Queen's nest, queen's... Oh, there might be a connection there. But I'm not sure. We'll see. I hate making assumptions, but... I might think that the queen's nest might produce... Queens. Hydralisk. That's complete, so let's evolve the melee attacks and do the Carpus level 2. The Carpus is also the most expensive one out of the both attack upgrades because it applies to all ground units, while the ranged and the uh, melee attack are for different creatures. Like for Kerrigan, I think Kerrigan is the melee. Kerrigan, where are you? There you are. Yeah, class, melee damage. You as well, class. <laughs> Kerrigan is 10 times for damage on his I'm listening. Spire numero unos. And spire numero dos. Evolve Gamit Meiosis. Plus 50 clear. I'll take it. And some more mutalisks as well. I think if I can establish a base here and I can build some anti air measurements, I can stop the transport between these two bases. Ooh, this is actually a great idea. I'm sure that if, if, if I start attacking the bottom, the top will send reinforcements to support the bottom base. So if I build an outpost here, I can intercept their transports. They are not very good at this attacking thing anymore, are they? 
won't dedicate to gas. I won't dedicate to minerals. Oh, there's no turret over here. Good to know. What are you doing? Okay, now for sure they know we're here. Well, sink colony, more sink colony. These are going to be spore colonies. Phew. Oh, we activate them. Okay, now. Nice. Oh, hello, visitors. What brings you here? Death? Oh, now they're born. Destroy it too. I just pulled his glass. Oh, he's running. How cute. Okay, repeat for now. So, this is post infested command center. Must target a severely damaged com Terran command center. Okay. Gergen, we're all doing this one. That's a lot of anti air. Fall back for now. So here's the plan. Destroy that, we drop here in this small crevice where we assault from the high ground to here and we fight our way to the bottom. A queen will be joining us to infest that command center. I think once that's happened, then the Terrans will abandon this place. We have a new source of income. Alright, get in there. Unload here. Go, 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 go. All they're busy with the lights. I am not seeing any siege tanks. Alright, leave the factory. Oh, I was supposed to make it. A second column. Gosh darn it. Is this really damage? That, that, I, I think that's really damage. That's just a uh, move away. Queen, do your thing, please. I mean, if, if that was severely damaged, I oh. Ah, we got an infest command center. Destroy a starport, please. Thank you. These are very pathetic attempts, but I understand they don't have a lot of space to land either. Wreck that turret, please. Thank you. Get out here. Vitalisk, swarm them up, please. Another mineral piece. Okay, we're not going to take sorts of pieces, that's for sure. Let's keep building the pieces so over here. Because busting Jim's face will probably take a lot It's probably going to be a lot more difficult than uh, these two. What are you guys hanging out over here? Come back, we need you in the front lines. Okay, dude. Calm down. Engage that turret, please. Mop not. There is a uh, there is a big welcome committee waiting waiting for us. Oh, we got a good mask near us. Let's destroy this turret, shall we? A 
They are ready and respawning those guys. The hive cluster is under attack. Okay, if the uh, anti-air measurement is destroyed, we can start building up our army. We can start deploying our army to their doorstep. These are all overlords filled with money. Okay, where is my mutilisk escort? Here you guys are. You join the rest here. Select all of you. And we are moving up to here. The Mutalisks, like before, will take the brunt of the damage. While the Overlords drop their troops. I think this is enough to annihilate this base. And mayhaps infest a command center along the way. We'll see. Attack! I know that from here. Keep those OVs covered, buddy. Get in there. The army has been deployed. Attack. Attack the bottom. Where's my queen? There you are. I had to one of those muscle tools. Oh no. The infested Terrans are more than proving their worth. Where's the queen? There's the queen. Where's Kaido? There you go. Nope. Had all up. This one has been severely damaged. What is it now? Or not. Or destroyed. Sarah, is that really you? To an extent. I'm far more than I once was, Jim. You shouldn't have come here. But the dreams. I dreamed you were still alive, that somehow you were calling to me. I was. While I was in the chrysalis, I instinctively reached out to you and Arcturus telepathically. Apparently, Arcturus sent Duke here to reclaim me. But that was then, Jim. I'm one of the Zerg now, and I like what I am. You can't imagine how this feels. So, what? Are you gonna kill me now, darling? That is certainly within my power. But you're not a threat to me, Jim. Be smart. Leave here now and never seek to confront the Zerg again. Doesn't look like I have much choice. Alright then. Former colonial militia. Yes. Now we can see that James Rainer, James Rainer has become an official rebel. But that's not really relevant to the swarm now, is it? We are still continuing our business of dominating the galaxy and being awesome while doing it and throwing the sickest parties. Kerrigan, the newest and most powerful agent of the Overmind, has arisen from her embryonic chrysalis, but her formidable powers are still not fully functional. Kerrigan must now seek to unravel the ghost conditioning that keeps her powers in check. Once done, she will lead the Overmind's minions to complete domination over the unsuspecting Protoss. Oh, we're hunting Protoss. The Amerigo. Alright then, but that's going to be for our next episode. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, why not like the video and subscribe for more content. This is your host Malgaris and I'll see you next time. Bye.